Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. Today we are going to continue our tutorial on the mechanism. If you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like. And if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. So on the last video we imported a package to our project containing several animations that can be used on biped characters. Next, we imported a character to our scene that we actually can see here. And we are actually going to animate this character using the mechanism. So in order to do that we created an animator controller that you can actually see here. That you can act and we actually if we actually open the animator, you guys can see that we actually have uh, idle animation animation to it. So just to give you guys a, a quick understanding where we are right now, so if we actually drag the animation controller over our animator, and if I actually go to the main camera, game objects, align with view and actually press play, you guys can see that our character is now actually playing the idle animation, right? So let's continue, let's open the animator here. So I will show you guys how to import an animation and I will already show you guys how to actually import an animation and use it as a state. However, the mechanism also allows you to create state based uh, st states based on several animations. Uh, it does this by blending several animations together. So that's what we're actually going to do today is to create a new state with several animations. So the first step is to actually create the state. So I'm going to right click with the mouse over my animator view. I select create state and I select from new blend tree. This will create a blend tree here, let's call it walking. Walking forward. And I misspell it. Okay. So we have the walking forward state now. Again, for if you guys don't remember, this one is yellow because this is our um, starting state this one is gray because it's not the starting state if i wanted to turn it to starting state i simply go here and set as layer default state and then this will be the the yellow one but we want this to be the default state so let's just leave it as it is so now that we have the new state created actually i'm going to call it walk forward instead of walking walk forward yes so the name is smaller this way uh, I'm going to double click on it and this will open another view on my animator as you guys can see here we have the base layer here and the walk forward here and what you can see in the inspector here is that you have um, a list right here if I select the blend tree we can actually have we have actually a list here of motions right now the list is empty so this is where we are actually going to add the animations we want to use and that we want to blend okay so let's start by adding some animations so for to this we are actually going to click on the plus and we select add motion field all right we have a first field here Let's search for the animation, so I just click it here on this circle and we are actually going to be searching for animation walk let's just see what we have here I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so you can actually see and we let's see walk forward turn right short yeah let's select this one double click it and as you guys can see we now have the animation here let's add a new one again add motion field this time let's search for let's see 
Let's search for something that make will make it walk. So let's just walk. Make it walk in the front direction. So walk forward, face forward. I think this is it. Let me just double check here. Yes, this is the one. Alright. And let's add a third animation. Add motion field. And this time let's go again for walk. And let's add walk forward and right short again. Okay, so actually now as you guys can see we have three animations here. And as you guys can see, once we start adding the animations, Unity will display this chart over here, showing you guys how the animations blend together. So you probably noticed that we had two animations of turning to the right, but we actually want the first one to turn to the left. So how can we solve this? Well, we simply check this field here that will mirror the animation. This way, instead of turning to the right, the animation will turn to the left, okay? Other thing that we actually need to do is to actually go here on the graphic here and where we have zero, we set it to minus one. So we have minus one to the left, zero to the front, one to the right, okay? And you can see the values here as well. Alright. So now we have our blend our blend animation. So if we actually press play here, you guys can see the animation reviewing what we just did. And it seems to be working just fine so if I actually want it to turn I just go here and change the value on blend so let's just set it to zero all right so this is what we just done so let's go back to the animator so to do this we click here on base layer so we now have two states on the next video I'll show you how to create the transition between these two states so we're going to create a transition between idle and walk forward and between walk forward and idle and I'm going to show you guys how to actually program this transition in order to change the animation when you actually give an input from the keyboard for example so for example when the player starts uh, pressing the the front air the up arrow key it will start to playing the walking animation when the player actually releases the key will start playing the idle so act that's what you're actually going to do on the next video hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson until next video have a nice day